Now burgers are a family favorite in our household and I bet they are in yours as well. Well, this is a newer version, slightly healthier version. It's using turkey mince, okay, and beetroot. Now these burgers are gonna look, I mean, beautiful, pink, luscious, flavorsome. I mean, this is a burger with a twist. So we start off here, 250 grams of grated raw beetroot, okay, into that, we're gonna put 50 grams of dried breadcrumbs. I've got a teaspoon of dried chili flakes. I have a teaspoon of cumin powder, teaspoon of ground coriander, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, 500 grams of lean, lovely turkey mince, good pinch of salt, little bit of cracked black pepper, sleeves up, hands in, and start mixing everything together, okay? That beetroot is kind of bleeding all those lovely colors and juices into the turkey. Okay, and once you've got it all mixed together, we're gonna get here four super big, delicious, juicy burgers, okay? And roll it into a ball and squeeze it out. And make these great, big, lovely, fantastic looking burgers. Pop it onto a tray and repeat with the other three. They go in the fridge, sit there for around about 20 minutes big fan of coleslaw so I'm going to create something that's just maybe a little bit different so like all coleslaws they start with a base of cabbage so I've got two here I've got a red cabbage and a white cabbage just going to slice it cabbage into a bowl red cabbage goes in into that white cabbage has got quite a lot of acidity in it and that's the bit that makes you cry now red onions they have a little bit more in the way of sweetness into the cabbage. I want some acidity levels. I want something to break through that kind of spiciness and the richness is going to come from the mayonnaise that goes with it. So I'm going to put in gherkins, okay? I'm going to chop these up into chunks so they've got kind of little nuggets of acidity. So the idea of this being dispersed all the way through the coleslaw for me is amazing. The cheese I'm going to put in here is feta. Now I love feta, really salty really crumbly in terms of texture and works so well with a coleslaw like this. Something that goes really well with feta, herb-wise, is mint. Quite often mint gets overlooked. It goes so well with so many different things, not just lamb. You kind of just roll the mint leaves up into a ball and run your knife through it, okay? Wow, the smell coming from that. Delicious, amazing. Good pinch of salt, some cracked black pepper, and then the thing that binds it all together the mayonnaise. Just work it all together. Now you don't want it too loose. And a little bit of that mayonnaise goes a lot further than you think. That is an amazing, crispy, crunchy, full flavored coleslaw. And look, got carrot in sight. Okay, we're gonna cook the burger. So I've got a pan on and a medium high heat. This we need to cook all the way through. However, if you look at the color of that, it's definitely gonna be pink in the middle. Okay, the oil's getting nice and hot. I'm gonna slide a couple of these burgers in. These burgers are gonna cook quite gently, all right? We're just gonna caramelize them on both sides. It's probably gonna take four to five minutes each side, all right? Okay, he's been cooking for about five minutes. Just gonna flip them over, look at that. Beginning to cook beautifully on that side. Now I'm gonna stick them in a preheated oven, 200 degrees, for around about eight minutes. I'm gonna check after that. Turkey burgers, been cooking away in the oven. These have been in for about 12 minutes, okay? They look amazing. The color's fantastic. And like any good burger, it's gotta go into a bun. So I've got a nice bun here. On the bottom of that, just gonna put some sliced tomato and just a little bit of the coleslaw. Some mixed leaves, now this is rocket and spinach. The lovely thing about rocket is it's really peppery and I love that, so it works so well with the coleslaw. Then the burger. Then a bit more of this lovely coleslaw. Then the next burger, no, I'm only joking. Then the lid. Look at that. I mean, that is a great alternative to your normal beef burger. So filling, so delicious, and actually super healthy. Subscribe to the channel, watch more recipes like this, have a go at doing more recipes like this, more importantly, eat more recipes like this.